So we'll look at our blueberry patch. First look to see how the bushes are doing after the winter. And quite a few cold snaps this year. Uh, one two week period was pretty bad. Below zero. Most days, well below zero at night. Uh, but they look like they're doing pretty well. Really have to wait until things start to grow out a little bit and then you can see what's alive and dead. Can't really get the phone to focus on the buds, but the buds currently look pretty well. Pretty good. Not too bad. I will wait and see. We have close to 80 bushes, which we planted over a period of about eight years. And some years, I think we started off with just six. And then we started planting about eight. And then one year we started going, you know, eight of this variety, eight of that variety. And we were somewhere close to 80 bushes before we stopped. Uh, very productive if you keep them pruned. They like water, uh, but they don't want wet feet, so you got to have an area that's dry. And they're better off chipped, and that's something we really struggle with. Um, we keep them mowed and weed whacked in between. But just having enough time to put the chips down is, is something we really struggle with. So last fall, before, actually, you know, just about last winter, really, this row I got chipped. Uh, but you can see that there was grass in there. And I just threw the chips down over the top of the grass. I did put some uh, planter's paper down, which is kind of like that cardboard idea where you put the cardboard down to smother the weeds. Uh, the problem here is a lot of the grass is crab grass, so it'll push right through the paper and push right through the chips. Uh, we don't spray them. To be honest with you, even though there's a tank back there for water, we really don't water them all that much. Actually, haven't watered them in years. It's just what irrigation comes naturally. Uh, but they would do better if they were chipped, irrigated. And we have two big problems. Um, the birds, and there's now an invasive species of fruit fly that was brought in from Asia. Um, that's bad in the later varieties. It's not as bad in blueberries as it is raspberries and blackberries. Um, it does get into the blueberries, but people don't tend to notice because they eat the whole berry. Whereas with the raspberries, where the hole is, where you pick it off the plant, they can see the, see the fruit fly larva in there. Uh, so just a quick update of the blueberries. Uh, we'll continue throughout the season on how their progress is. Thanks for tuning in.